in Peggy Bennett's first grade classroom, reading rules. What do you need to do to get better at reading? Everybody. Read, 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 read. You need to read, read, read. You have to practice. But this reading lesson goes beyond books. She's getting some help from her savvy Shiloh Shepherd, Coulter. Peggy has taught Coulter how to read. Here's how it works. Peggy holds up these cards and Coulter follows the command on the cards. Oh, that's a good boy. One more time. There, good boy. Peggy trains Coulter by first pairing verbal commands with the printed words. She eventually removes the verbal commands. Let's try this one. Good job. Peggy says Coulter recognizes the shape of the words. Hurry. Hurry. There's the one you did. Good boy. Okay, good boy. I thought it was amazing. amazing. I had no idea that a dog had that big of a boy. Amazing indeed. And Coulter is a quick study. It took him, I would say within about two days, he started getting the idea of what it was. And then it took probably another, another two days to get it down pretty well. Peggy believes bringing her perceptive pooch to the classroom helps instill positive habits in her students. Let's tell Coulter again the best way to learn to read. What do you do? Read, read, read. And also helps her reach the kids on a whole new level. You can teach the mind, the brain, and, and kids will learn. But if you get the heart involved in that and get that human component and they connect with you through animals or whatever, you can get so much more learning. So that's why I do it. A reading lesson this class will never forget. In Albert Lee, Raquel Hellman. Hi, buddy. KIMT News 3.